I feel the need, the need for crib. Yes, yeah, king of the crib. Hello, hello. Another day here on King of the Crib. I didn't say sunny day because it's a bit overcast today and it could drizzle at any time. Slightly off the beaten track today, I'm literally on a track as you can see and it's slightly beaten uh, because cyclists go down it all the time because I've had a suggestion today from a family friend, Jimmy Miller. Hello Jimmy. And Jimmy says I've got to come and try Bon Appetit which is a lovely cafe for cyclists, walkers, people out and about down here in Twelve Heads in Bizzo. Oh, Bizzo. I love the name Bizzo. It's one of those Cornish names that is brilliant to say. Bizzo. Bizzo. But anyway, apparently Bon Appetit is a lovely independent cafe. They do cream teas, they do sandwiches, they do salads, they do breakfasts. And they've also been nominated for many awards over the years. So I thought I've got to come down here and try it out. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to go down where all the cyclists hang out with their helmets. Whatever cyclists do, I don't cycle. And uh, see what Bon Appetit is all about. So let's go down the path and see if I can get myself a lovely bit of breakfast. Let's go. on the Bizzo Trail, Bizzo. I love saying Bizzo. Lovely seating area outside. They have got a ton of seating uh, all outside and luckily the rain is holding off. It was raining earlier, but luckily so far, it was gonna happen once on King of the Crib that it was gonna be pouring down, but luckily so far it's dry today. I've ordered a ham omelet, an Americano, which I've already got, and also a bit of their banana and coconut cake which looks amazing. And actually, I'm gonna see if I need that now. I'll tell you why. Because I'm a diabetic, sometimes I need a bit of sugar and I need to test my levels to see, because I feel a little bit dodgy today. Um, so I'm gonna test my levels to see actually if I need a bit of the coconut cake even before I've had my omelet. So we're gonna fire the machine up. There it is. Let's put a little bit of that on there. And we're gonna see, live testing, if I need to eat this cake. If it's below four, I need to have some cake. What does it say? 3.3, can you see that? 3.3, so we're gonna enjoy this bit of cake even before the omelets arrived. Okay, so let's give this coconut and banana cake a go. that this will bring the levels up anyway. It looks lovely, um, very soft, very moist. Here we go. Oh, that is nice. I think everything here looks pretty much homemade. They're making it all themselves, not having it shipped in. That's a nice bit of banana cake. I can taste the coconut too, actually. The coconut's coming through as well. Oh, it's a proper food review today, isn't it? That's a nice bit of cake. And the frosting on top is also very nice. Definitely gonna bring my levels up as well. So, win-win. Right, we'll finish this and then wait for my omelette. Oh, lovely.
as I started eating my omelette, the cafe got incredibly busy and I didn't want to be yapping on in front of everyone. So I'm going to do the audio commentary away from the actual breakfast, but the breakfast was amazing. The omelette was really lovely and light and fresh. When it turned up, it looked very round. And sometimes I think that's a sign of something that's been bought in or maybe pre-made, but this wasn't. This was fresh out of the pan, lovely and hot. The cheese was nice and strong. That was a lovely, strong cheddar, I think. And uh, yes, very, very tasty and very, very flavoursome. The ham was nice too. The salad, beautiful salad, lovely dressing, not too sweet, not too sour. That was a nice dressing. They put a bit of orange on it, which I suppose if you want to add to the citrusy flavour, you can add a bit more orange. Not for me, but um, the salad was very tasty, very fresh ingredients again, beautiful, not been sat around in a kitchen waiting just to be handed out to anyone. That was a nice fresh salad. So yes, all in all, that breakfast was nice. Nice atmosphere, nice price, beautiful breakfast accompanied by a really nice coffee so I'm going to enjoy the rest of this salad and yeah I'll get back to you with my final thoughts a lovely bit of late morning crib down here at Bon Appetit in Bizzo. <laughs> I can't I can't stop saying it. It's a great name. The place was really friendly. The seating was plentiful. They got lots of lovely seating, lots of nice umbrellas if it's raining, and very, very nice food, and a good range of food. So what are we going to rate Bon Appetit out of our usual 30? By the way, I have to keep stopping filming because I keep getting hit by cyclists coming down this path. So uh, ignore that if I'm suddenly dead in a ditch. So first of all, let's rate it for the place itself, the customer service, the things on offer, the staff, that kind of thing. Oh, I've just met the owner, by the way. I was outside filming some of the signs like a lunatic and valid question. She came up and said, why are you filming? <laughs> I should probably tell people what I'm doing before I do it. That's a point for next time, Colin. But yeah, she seemed very lovely, as were all her staff. Very nice down here at Bon Appetit. The things on offer are amazing. They've got lunches, they've got breakfast, they've got snacks, they've got cream teas. You can't fault what they've got on offer down here. And also the seating area. What a lovely place to sit and have a coffee. So out of 10, I can't mark it less than 10 because it was a lovely experience. What a lovely place to come. Do come down and check it out. Lovely people down here at Bon Appetit. Next, we've got to think about value for money. Was it worth the money I paid for the food? 100% yes. I paid £10.70, I think, for my beautiful omelette and salad, my coffee and my cake. So under 11 quid for all that lovely food. Again, very good prices. 10 out of 10, bon appetit, well done. And finally, the food itself, like the product that I ate. Well, the cake, amazing. I needed it for medical reasons because of my diabetic level. So yes, it helped me. You saved my life, bon appetit. You saved my life. But seriously, the cake was really nice. It had a lovely flavor. I could taste the banana and the coconut and it was very fresh. The omelet, all. I haven't had an omelette that good for a while. That was really lovely and accompanied by a really lovely, tasty salad. Huge amount of cheese and a huge amount of ham in that omelette as well. So very, very good. And the coffee, yeah, lovely coffee. So again, 10 out of 10, Bon Appetit. So that means a king of the crib, a dirty 30. Yes, 30 out of 30 for here down at Bon Appetit come down and try it out even if you don't know how to ride a bike it's beautiful down here and of course if you have been down here do tell me in the comments do comment down below with what you thought about bon appetit and also tell me where you would like me to go comment on here or on twitter at the king of crib on twitter and tell me the places that you've tried have found tasty and you want this fizzog to go and try it doesn't have to be in bizzo bizzo but if it isn't a place that is fun to say that would be good so for now, my friends, that's it for this King of the Crib. Do join me next time when I'll be at another one of your brilliant suggestions. I'm going to go back into the cafe, steal a bike and tear around Bizzo. Absolutely crazy. I probably won't even wear a helmet. They'll never catch me.